A little further into their yard? Yeah. No, I won't worry about it until they say something. Yeah. Good morning, boss. Good morning. I'm Rachel. And I'm Carl, and you're watching Happy's Family. Thank you for watching. And we all we do, you. And all we do is mow and weed eat on this channel. That is not all we do. We share our journey with you. Yes. So, boss, do you have any tidbits of information for our subscribers? Um, today? well... What do you do when you don't know where the property line is? Yeah, that's a good idea. We have no idea on this one. Well, we've been mowing this one for a couple of years and we asked them about this before. Mm -hmm. Well, if somebody bought the house next door and the owner from previous owner um, mowed all that. Mm -hmm. Well, nobody seems to know in this development who this little common area is. Yeah. Um, you got fences going halfway into it, other fences going quarter ways into it, I mm -hmm. think. So we'll show you real quick, but yeah. um, we're not going to mow it. We asked the homeowner and she said she, because she rents out these houses, she said she doesn't know, she doesn't think it's her property, so. Yeah, so normally what we look for is like, um, you would look for like boxes. Yeah, the, the power boxes, yeah. the ends of fences, and that's what we assumed. Mm -hmm. The end of the fence is all in the other backyards that this would be her property. But right, because knows. we kind of just figured that it would just continue along. But then there is that section right there that just is unclean. Yeah, when the guy came over and started talking to Rachel last time we were here, I was a little nervous he was going to want us to start mowing his yard. And <laughs> I, I walked over there. Rachel had talked to him. He left and he didn't know who I was, I guess. I walked over there and he's like, can I help you? I was like, oh, I was just looking in the back to see if I can get a mower back there if you needed it to be mowed. And he's like, oh, I was just wondering where the property lines were. I'm glad because there's no getting a 36 in there easy. And no. No, no it wouldn't have been It's seen. right next door to this one, but it's not worth but it's, it. Well, it's, the back is gated. Yeah, it's gated. So, so. And it's got a weird funky hill. Yeah, even more than this. So, so today's only going to be 76. We're going to work at our own pace mm -hmm. and get things done. Um, all of our clients are towards the back of the week, like we've been. So telling they're now, you. like, what is today? Thursday, right? Yeah. And the crazy thing, it's this crazy. one's thirteen days. The next one we're doing is thirteen days. No, that one might be only like ten or eleven, and still not growing, guys. Still yeah. Not growing. But we're still mad. Uh, yeah. I mean, hey, there has been years. I remember one year we went forty-five days without mowing because we were so dry. Yeah. So for us to be at 13 days is no big deal yeah <laughs> it actually no no big deal we were able to put in you know a mulch job and so yeah, yeah. so let's get out and get this one. the area in question you see how everybody's fence ends right here this whole area here but we're doing this one this one and this one well this one and this one but look how much it hasn't really grown much
So I'm done this one here, or we're done this one here. So the property dispute is still going on. It's not a dispute. He just wants to know if, if it's his, he'll fence it in and keep it. If she doesn't want it, but if it's hers, we're gonna have to start mowing it, which is no problem. Rachel can hit that easily. Yeah, but the only problem is, is like he can't really fence it in to be his because I told you the sewer line goes. Yeah. To... Okay, off to the next one. Guys, doesn't it look like the boss is ready to go on a mission somewhere. I'm going into the jungle to go find the gold ticket for the candy factory. Oh, are you still looking for that thing? <laughs> she is still looking. Every once in a while, I catch her on her phone treasure hunting. <laughs> right? Okay, let's look at this. <laughs> okay, so this next one. Uh, I've lost my, oh, my headphones are here. So here's the next one, guys. We're just gonna get it done real quick. Number three for the day. That's on seven. the candy hack, on the candy factory hunt. I think it might be in Indiana. <laughs> oh. Yeah. John and Rennie, right? Yeah. Come on, you guys, you gotta find that factory. I know, Rachel we wants to retire in the state of Florida. Become a candy factory no. person. We are not going to Florida. <laughs> I'll, I'll come visit their candy factory. It's way too hot in that place. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Three down. Now we're gonna go right back to the house, take our little break because our house is right next door. Look, I had to buy a new string, guys, and that's the type I used. Um, they didn't have my big spool. When I was at the shop, I should have got it. I had to run an ace to get this, and I did make it so far through three yards with what you guys seen I had left last night. Um, so. Okay, off to the next one. 13 days, that ain't too bad looking. No, it's not. Um, we're mowing this one at least for now. We gotta figure out if we're gonna mow the next one. We're waiting to hear back from the owner. Yeah. Um, you need to trim them hedges too eventually, look. Yeah. Good. Okay, we're gonna get this one mowed up and I guess we'll let you know how the next one goes over there, mm -hmm. right? So I'm not sure, remember we had a problem with the 36, the valve stem was messed up, it was leaking air, we tried to put fix a flat, that didn't work. So we took it down to the tire place right down the road from us and they fixed it for like $14 and 95 cents I think it was. They're very affordable and they're great. It's a, it's a family I mean, run business yeah, too. Yeah, it's, it's an auto body shop like right down the road from us and they've helped us out like quite a few times. Yeah, we might might take the silver truck there it depends if our friend can't look at it mm -hmm. okay so we're gonna get this one mowed and get done
one's blowing off. This one's done. The neighbor's done. Off to the next two. You dropped the ball on this one, boss. It's three weeks ago we mowed this lawn. Wait until you guys see how long this one is. After three weeks, man. If I were this person, I would fire you on the spot. What? And I hire worry. a new lawn care company immediately. He loves right, guys? us. Right, guys? He loves us. Yeah, this and client tips go. us like every, for every mow he tips us. Yeah, his, he's a great client. Check, so. This is where we did the rainbow path. And I still really want to take them so that we can repaint them for her. Eventually. That would be nice. But you guys oh, remember yeah. when I got stung by bees, what? Oh, yeah. When I got stung by bees here, it was pretty long, right? Yeah. And that was only a little over two weeks. Yeah. This is three weeks. Wait until you see how tall it is now. <laughs> it's the weather, man. Let's go. But, yeah. And we would have been here at the beginning of the week, except... Our plan is to get everybody towards the end of the week, yeah. and that's why we postponed it. Well, most more. people. Some people will go into Monday, but then there are ones that will be able to push two weeks. So Yeah. Or maybe not. We'll just do other things on Monday. Yeah. We're going to have to look at our schedule because I think it's going to be, again, like a really low beginning of the yeah, week. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We might not have many at all. Right. We'll we're just going to have to do landscaping. And pruning. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Um, look how high it is, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's not high at all. It's taller than Rachel's ankles. Really? And that's three weeks of growth. This is all weeds, too. Like, Which I'm surprised. Yeah, that usually these are the ones that... Grow faster yeah. when we don't get any rain. But no, not this one. There's not any seed heads or nothing. It's just been too hot. <laughs> no. Okay, let's get it done. I forgot my headphones in the truck. I have oh. to go get them. Okay, guys, Rachel's going to start mowing. I'm going to change out this string. And I could have did it at home and saved time, but that isn't what this is about. I'm about, like, how many times I'm going to have to ch change this string out over a certain period. But there's one, there's two. Okay, let me wind this back up. Okay guys, so you guys seen Rachel accidentally kill the bunny. Um, as, you, as you can see, I got it re-spooled with another 34 foot of line. So we're actually going to see how long I can go with this um, because I blew through Sunday. I could have changed it out at home so I didn't have to do it in the field, but I just want to see how many, how many you are. When I'm done this whole spool, we're then going to get our speed feed and then replicate the exact amount of yards I did and see how many times I got to change that head. So let's see. 
So we're back out. You sporting your ECU hat. Yeah, yeah, I have to sport. I get a hat too. It says ECU dad. There's no, a shirt. A shirt. Yeah. That says ECU dad. Pirates. E ECU it says, pirates. No, it just says pirates dad. It said pirates dad. There's and a, I got a shirt that said pirates mom. And wait. I already asked her. I'm like, are you going to be embarrassed to walk around with us? And Does that make said, us geeks? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? Maybe. But gotta sport my team, man. Yeah. But then she was like, well, I need something. And I said, well, I already ordered you something. Um, because they have to wear purple on Fridays. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's your school. You're going to yeah. support your school. Man, some of these dogs are going crazy. The funny thing is, is Carl used to be, what, an NC State fan. Well, that's basketball. For um, for college football, when I used to watch it, Ohio State was my number one team. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And then... Um, what other one was it? Oregon was yeah, my other team that I like to watch. That's right, I forgot. Now, NFL, I'm a Giants fan. I don't watch football. We haven't watched football in forever. So, yeah, so that is how we have more time to do the garden. Yeah, we dropped NASCAR out all together. And this was like six years ago we stopped yeah, watching. Yeah, Carl used to spend all day on Sunday. Watching with NASCAR and football. And football, yeah. But so that's changed a little bit. Now, now I don't watch NASCAR or football and I haven't watched any of it in probably like four or five, six years now. Yeah. A long time now. So I just, he just enjoys his garden. I just I got tired of watching it, I guess. But yeah, so now we're here present to do some lawns. We yeah. have one, two, three, four lawns we're mowing and we're gonna prune up a little bit at one yard, the last one by the sign. Yeah. Um and get a little bit of that debris each time we come there. Dogs are um, going crazy. Yeah, them dogs are going crazy. Yeah. So let's get out and mow. So yeah. I'll show you some before and afters of mowing and then we'll go up there and prune that. All right. There we go guys. It's this one. I think I'm only gonna do the front. I'll check the back. And Rachel does all the other three up there. Yeah. You mow mostly oh, everything. Can we leave the bagger? Darn it. You're going to have to mow the little section now. Okay. That's fine. I was just about to say you get to mow everything usually. Yeah. So you'll just have to mow that okay. area that I, do, that I usually bag up. Let's get it done. All right. So Rachel said a rabbit just ran out from the bush. And I told Rachel, the rabbits don't have to worry. I'm mowing the yard. Really? Rachel's mowing up there. So they're safe. I'm sorry, I gotta mess with you. Put on these three. Nice. This one, Rachel's blowing off the ones up there. One, two, so we're done three. The other one's mowed, I just gotta weed eat, and then we're gonna do a little bit of pruning to finish the night. And then we're done for the day. Not bad, I think we did 10, 10 jobs in this little pruning. Okay. So we're here to prune all this right here back. Oh, I got a weedy still. We mowed this one. I'm going to prune this back. Get these weeds out of here. So we're only doing the sign this way. And then we got to start messing with this stuff too. But we'll see where we get.
Okay, guys, that was the quick pruning we were doing. Now, this isn't the only one. That's the homeowners association, so we're not doing that. But next time we come, we're going to shape up these boxwoods, cut these um, rhododendrons back a little more, lift some of these little trees up here, and just get everything in shape. So I'm going to start weed eating. I got a little bit of the rhododendron. No, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to start weed eating. Yeah. So, okay, let's get this cleaned up. Hello. Oh man, it's almost 7 o'clock again, boss. 6.30. Not too bad, though. We had a really good day. Yeah, we did. We did. That's yeah. where we have to have these uh, next couple of days, so. And I actually don't think that we mentioned this earlier. Uh oh. But happy anniversary. For what? 11 years oh. today. Yeah. August eleven year, yep. Eleven years ago today is when Carl went out and first did work as a lawn care and landscaping yeah. provider as Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. August fifth, eleven years ago. So this is our twelfth season, eleven years in business. Mm -hmm. It's weird because we started halfway through the season, so yeah. And I don't know if you guys know this, um, but we got a GIE puppy, uh, what two thousand nineteen, mm -hmm. right? So 2019 GIE, we got a GIE puppy, and her birthday was August 5th. Mm -hmm. So yeah. today, she is two years old. GIE puppy is two years old. She's oh, walking, she, yeah, she's and walking she, away. And she's a hound. She's a hound she's dog. She's a hound dog. Oh, boy, she's Sorry. a hound dog. Jay and Christina might remember us she's, being roped into <laughs> yeah, tell me. getting a puppy. She's the family dog. Oh, but, and John and Rennie saw oh, that yeah, we John got Rennie, <laughs> roped into a puppy. Yeah. She was bought as a family dog, but I think Paige claimed her. Paige yeah. does all the training with her. Paige says it's her dog. Yeah. I, she's really, Paige is really connected to her and she's really connected to Paige. And, um, you know, since they've been home... The dogs actually have, like, separation anxiety. Um, the cat even has separation anxiety. Well, you the good thing is we're not going to have to worry about that because the kids are home for another year, guys. Yeah. So. We are doing online learning again for the year. Yeah. Um, we were looking into doing homeschooling if they didn't offer that through our public school. Rachel did all her research. Mm -hmm. She was down to do it. We, it was going to be a huge burden on us to have to do all this, but we would have made it work. Yeah. Um, but then they had a board meeting because the cases are going up rapidly around here, too. I just was nervous. I know that I can do it with homeschooling. Um, my nervousness came to, like, would I be able to make sure that Paige, being in high school, was getting exactly what she needed so there would be no questions um, whether or not she could and it was go to college. And, I mean, it was, it was doable. It's just I was having to do a lot of research. Yes. So it was a little bit, um, I, I guess, just relieving just yes, to hear that I we, had the backup of the public school. Yes, line. because we wholeheartedly believe in the public schools. Our, our oldest daughter is leaving for ECU for yeah. pretty much all that paid for for the yeah. first semester for She's scholarships. So and she went through these schools and all of our other kids are honors students and they went through the schools. It was specifically because our youngest hasn't been vaccinated and... We don't want him getting it. So we're yeah. still going to be precautious like we have been for the last two years. It doesn't hurt us any. No, it doesn't you know? hurt us. And, you know, our children are still happy. And um, that's the best way that we know how to protect them. Yes. The, the most. Our yeah. oldest, we can't do none. She has to go to college. Yeah. So, but, I have to let her go. But yeah. I also am not going to let her just come willing willingly back into the house um because of chase you know because of our youngest yes. so we have to protect him that's our duty yeah. is to make sure that our children grow up and be stronger and better than we are so. yes so hopefully you liked our little talk at the end there for the ones who watched it all the way through we yeah. know we have a ton of them that do so yeah we appreciate you guys and i just thought that you guys would want to know that it is today our anniversary yeah. for the business yay so, thanks for watching guys. yeah so please like comment share and subscribe and be happy or at least try have a good, have night. good night i have to show you the, the birthday dog of the course birthday puppy.
birthday puppy two years old today. Yay! <laughs> She's so crazy. She does get zoomies a lot. But look, do you see how clean she has her? This is a good girl. This is a good girl. <laughs> Is it your birthday? Oh my goodness, do you hear that tail? Yeah, that tail's dangerous. It's yeah. like a weapon. Yeah. It's like a weapon, puppy. <laughs> Come on. Are you going in or are you staying out still? <laughs> yeah, you have to do it. Okay. Toby, give a high five. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're so cute. 